on your tongue it adds ten years to your life, and a good swallow gives you a hundred more. Drink it all and you'll live forever. I'm here guarding the spring. <laughs> Protecting it from bandits like you. <clears throat> I'm finished trying to make you humans understand. You came here for the Fountain of Youth, but why do you seek it out in the first place? Oh, I wish it had been me that Bond came to steal, instead of the Fountain of Youth. I was happier than I ever been. What was I doing all this time? That was a close call. Any longer and I would have completely transformed into a beast man. I wonder how many years it's been. No. How many centuries it's been since I got here. Captain! Where are you? Please answer me! This is a tale of ancient times. An era before the human and non-human worlds were forever divided. Two destinies were revealed. As a result of the Demon King and Supreme Deity's curse, Meliodas became immortal, and Elizabeth continues to reincarnate. Through many lifetimes, bound to her by love, and the inescapable fate of her death, Meliodas has been forced to live through each of Elizabeth's deaths for over 3,000 years. The goal of his journey is to end this curse. When she's regained them all, in three days, Elizabeth will die! In order to rescue Elizabeth from the endless cycle of death and rebirth, Meliodas makes the choice to become the Demon King himself. When I become the Demon King, your curse will be broken. To stop him from advancing the path of destruction, Elizabeth joins forces with the rest of the Seven Deadly Sins. I'm joining forces with the Seven Deadly Sins! And I'll do everything I can to stop you from doing this! In a hellscape like that, how would you ever find the Captain's emotions? They could be anywhere. I'll go there alone. In the sacred name of the Supreme Deity. In the name of the one I love. We hereby pledge to form an alliance between the Seven Deadly Sins and Stigma. Soldiers, charge! And so, after 3,000 years, the battle against the demons begins again. The Holy War. Elsewhere, due to his twisted love for Elizabeth, Esterosa goes berserk. If it means losing you to Meliodas, then... I might as well devour you! Prepare to become part of me forever! Don't lose yourself! Otherwise, those commandments will consume you! Please don't hurt anybody else, alright? I'll do whatever you ask of me. Thank you for coming to help us save Lady Elizabeth. <sighs> it isn't my only objective. That bastard Esterosa. I'll never forgive him. And speaking of him, where the heck could he possibly be heading to anyway? Who cares? It doesn't matter where he's going. If we want to put an end to this holy war, then we gotta destroy Mael's enemy, right? Well, I don't know why Asterosa snatched Lady Elizabeth. But, right now, he's far too mighty and also unstable. Enough talk! Let's go! Making really good time, I'm impressed. Sorry, Captain huh? Leftovers. I'm sorry for making you do this for me. But still, chasing after King and the others? What's gotten into you all of a sudden? I've got my own duty that I have to fulfill, no matter what the cost. Even if it means sacrificing my life. Everyone, listen up and stay by my side. Ah!
The way Meliodas would expand the field of darkness and confine himself within it. And how I possessed the ability to penetrate it. She must have foreseen all of it. You better protect the commandments properly, lest they be stolen away from you. Daughter of Belly Halloween. And then, there's the man who possesses my dear brother's grace, Escanor. He's an extremely arrogant and aggravating individual, but his powers will no doubt prove to be a great asset when it comes to fighting the high-ranking demons. As for the last two, Hendrickson and Gilthunder. They may lack battle potential, but they make up for it in loyalty. Both of them are willing and ready to risk their lives to protect me and my vessel. Hendrickson's devotion to me is especially strong. He could serve as more than just my shield. I could use him as a vessel as well. Once we've all made our way inside of this, that's it. At that point, there's no going back. There's only one way to escape from this darkness. That would be by killing its master and creator, which is Meliodas himself. What? We... we can't! No, there's another way to do this. Mm -hmm. By turning Meliodas back to the way that he was. Understand. Brilliant as always, young Master Meliodas! Once he absorbs the remaining commandments, Meliodas will finally become the new Demon King. And when that time comes... You would better fulfill that promise we made, no matter what. Would you look at that? The ruins of a celestial theater! Over there! What's going on? Elizabeth. The commandments. It looks like they went all berserk and distorted his form. Stay away from her. Elizabeth is mine. <laughs> Give Lady Elizabeth back to us. True spirit, spirit chastiful. Form five. Increase. this gigantic cocoon seems like we kept them waiting oh, oh, oh. I didn't think we'd ever get our turn but it seems I was wrong <laughs> it was always gonna turn out like this <laughs> oh, who are they those two are known as the oldest of the demons Chandler and Cusack both possess tremendous abilities and act as mentors to Meliodas and Zeldris. They've always stayed put in the demon realm, so they never stood center stage of the Holy War. They're enshrouded in mystery. Now, let's show them that these old timers still know how to rage. Tremendous magical power. Just being near them makes me feel dizzy. Leader of the four Archangels, the daughter of Belly Halloween, and Escanor, the one who defeated my brother. I won't let you get in Meliodas's way. We've never met face to face before. This is our first real meeting. And last, I'll make sure of it. Never sense this kind of power in one place. It's completely off the charts. No doubt about it. Right now, you and I are looking at the six strongest warriors on the planet. <laughs> you said.
satisfied. Oh? For you to be unscathed by my blow, how very impertinent of you. Bastard! I'll destroy anyone who tries to cause harm to young master! I'm afraid that you can't. Mm. Double impact! Are you really the same clever brat who managed to fool the Demon King and Supreme Deity? To be honest with you, I'm disappointed. These monsters possess even greater power than the Ten Commandments. Cusack and Chandler, two high-ranking demons with power levels of 168 and 173,000. Merlin! While it is true that they both possess outrageous power, What's most crucial is how we handle this battle, and that we obtain the key to restoring Meliodas. That's the priority. It's not about the numbers. What the hell was that? I'm not familiar with that technique. We decided to form this alliance for a reason, you know. <gasps> I see. Napping Reaper. So then, that was Lodosil's notorious Flash, huh? That wasn't very nice. We're a couple of old geezers. It takes time for our bodies to warm up, isn't that right, Pacifier Fiend? It's not about the numbers, but still. The leader of the four Archangels, Lodosiel, has a power level of 201,000. And the power he possesses makes him indispensable in the field of darkness. Hello, Zeldris. I hear your swordsmanship is the swiftest in the demon realm. Master Zeldris! That was heartless. Damaging a woman's face without any remorse. Seems your brother neglected to teach you how to treat a lady. Damn it! How dare he hurt Margaret's body! Regardless of that, he wouldn't do something as heinous as possess a woman's body. Watch out! <clears throat> just who do you think you are? You really think you saved me just now? I saw through his attack from the start. What a hopeless fool. While I do appreciate your readiness to protect me, stop interfering. Burn and writhe by the power of my grace, Flash! Listen here, Bon. Quit your whining. You have to carry on. Do whatever it takes to find Captain's emotions. Everyone's waiting for you to return. Anyway, it would probably help if I knew what I was actually looking for. What do emotions even look like? Maybe a soul or... Let's get ourselves out of this shithole already. I think we've both had enough by now. <sighs> Shoulda thought. That really hurt. 
Or damn it! Captain, where could you possibly be? Hurry up and answer me already! What's that? Not yet. I'm not giving up yet. Thanks for helping me cure my boredom! <laughs> if you want to play that bad, I'll kill some time with you. Give me everything you've got, monster! Getting on my nerves now. How many decades do you think we've been fighting like this? I'm in the middle of searching for a buddy at the moment, so. Whatever. No, I'm just exhausted. Huh? What's the deal with you? Are you seriously attached to me now? Captain, let's hurry and go home already, eh? Everyone's working their asses off over there, all for your sake. Besides, I want to see her again. I miss my precious lady. Yeah, me too. <coughs> Was that just... And where did that dragon bastard go? So it was you all along. Hey there, partner. How are you feeling? Meliodas's transformation progresses. To prevent this from completing, Merlin and the rest of the assault force battle Zeldris. Meanwhile, to save Meliodas's soul, Bond decides to head for Purgatory to fight alone. And after an unimaginably cruel journey, Bond reunites with Meliodas. given up on going back. I honestly thought I'd never be able to get out of purgatory at all. Or see Elizabeth, you, or anyone else again either. This is a real shock. But why are you in purgatory anyway? Did Mr. Bond the Undead finally get taken out? No, you idiot. Come on now. I obviously came here to find you and bring you back home. Wait a second. You know of a way back? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Are you that stupid? You recklessly dove in here without knowing how to get back out again? Give me a break. What did you expect? I had no choice. I couldn't leave you alone in this crap hole. Guess it pays to have idiots for friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got plenty of time to figure it out. Yep. Two heads are better than one. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> This is a tale of ancient times, an era before the human and non-human worlds were forever divided. A second holy war. In the battle over the fate of Britannia, 
Not even the gods could determine what was to come. Even so, the conflict rages on. There are those who fight to destroy the evil rule and protect the future of those they hold dear. These warriors are known as the Chosen Heroes. They are the Seven Deadly Sins. Souls that fell here and end up becoming savages. So like the monsters you and I turned into. Exactly. And since they lose themselves in the process, they turn to dust after they die. <laughs> The second type are indigenous creatures. They were born here and have substance. Their bodies have evolved to live and thrive in Purgatory's harsh environment. They are the ones we should set our sights on. We can make clothes out of the materials we harvest from them. That thing sure can move fast. This is gonna be fun! <laughs> Fox hot! Captain, it's heading towards you now! This one seems to understand the situation. It must be its natural instinct. What? <laughs> yeah, I knew that would happen. What was that? Where did your usual animalistic strength go? Well, I'm just Meliodas' emotions after all. So I'm kind of like a soul. If we try to escape here together... I'm only gonna be a burden to you. Uh, then I guess I'll have to carry you on my back. <laughs> because of the curse my father placed on me, I'm torn away from my true form each time I die and sent here. Well, what does he get by doing that? Father wishes for me to be a successor, but my emotions get in the way of that happening. That's why he wants to erase them. Well, I get it now. I can't believe you've survived in purgatory with a physical body all this time. There were lots of times I thought about giving up, but I just kept going. And now, I've gotten so used to being here that I can even get some sleep. Up. You're pretty amazing, you know? Uh, what's with the sudden compliment? Thanks for everything. <laughs> well, to catch you up, I heard from Merlin that you'd been taken away by the Demon King. So I assumed you had to be trapped somewhere, and this made sense. At first, I was confined by Father, and he kept watch over me. I spent a lot of time looking for the exit. I was determined to return to my real form. But I was never able to find it, so I gave up and fell into despair. Father was relieved to see me become a monster and threw me out. So he was confident you couldn't escape. That's why he let you roam. He didn't think there was any sort of possibility you might run into the exit by chance just by wandering around. That makes sense. And it would explain why he threw me out without even thinking. If that's the case, then the exit has to be in my father's vicinity. You think that's possible? <laughs> At the very least, it's definitely worth checking out, don't you think? <laughs> Alrighty then. Sounds like we have a plan. Let's begin our exit mission, shall we? Hey, I've got a question for you. What do you think's the first thing you'll do when we get back to the living world? First, I'll break Elizabeth's curse, and after that I'm gonna drink Burnia Ale to my heart's content. Sounds good. Obviously, I'm gonna bring Elaine back to life, and then I'll go and absolutely drown myself in Aberdeen Ale. Nice. Can't argue with that one. <laughs> we sure see eye to eye, huh? Full counter! I can't get 
it out! Don't worry, I'll clean this up in a flash! Have a taste of my crazy hunt! Like I said, it's no problem for me. Hmm? Suppose I could take care of one more? I couldn't resist. This guy's meat tastes amazing. This is the best. I'm undead and you're not in your real form, but still, nothing beats a good meal. Don't you just feel so alive when you're eating? You're not eating. Something wrong? It's been over 500 years since we reunited. But I'm still surprised and honestly shocked at your ability to adapt. What did you expect me to do? I'm not like you, Captain. I'm living flesh and blood. So I really have no choice but to adapt. <laughs> it's absurd you never considered the possibility that you couldn't. You're insane. Oh, and that's not everything. Check this out. Perhaps I adapted too well. I'm completely immune to any kind of burns and frostbite, too. Hell, even the air that used to be suffocating? It's crazy, but it tastes totally delicious to me now. Bon. Huh? Humans were definitely not built to survive here in Purgatory at all, let alone with their sanity intact. I bet you're the first and last. I'm not sure I count. I mean, I am undead after all. It takes a lot more than that to be able to endure it. <laughs> then maybe it's also thanks to the shitty environment I grew up in. Sort of like I had a head start. That's not what I was talking about either. Your experience here, enduring all those hardships along the way, triggered a dramatic change in both your body and spirit. I'm sure everyone will be surprised when we get back. Huh. I don't know about all that. But, it'd be pretty great if I powered up enough to face off with the Ten Commandments as an equal. That'd make it all worthwhile. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? Got something to say to me? Maybe. Use your imagination. There's something I only fully understood after being stuck here. Hmm? I mean, I always knew you were strong, but you've got tremendous hidden power. I've been through ice and flames in Purgatory, and nothing managed to leave a single mark on me. But then you were able to leave me with this badge. You say I'm impressive, but you'll be invincible once you get your real body back, Captain. <laughs> there isn't a better team out there, so let's go find the Demon King and get back already! Yeah! Then I'm gonna be all over Elizabeth! And I'll flirt with Elaine like there's no tomorrow! And we'll reopen the boar hat together with the rest of the seven deadly sins! Yeah! Oh, but uh, don't bother cooking when we do, alright? <laughs> <laughs> you noticed it, right? I did. I gotcha! Stay where you are. Who are you? I ask the questions. Tell me who you are, strange ones. You mentioned going back to somewhere. You also said a lot of other things that I couldn't just overlook. It seems ridiculous, but is it possible you're travelers from a different world? Well, I guess you could call us that. I knew it! Now answer me. Are you one of the Demon King's underlings? The Demon King? Oh, that giant, huh? I do know where he is, though. Oh, wait, you really know where he is? Yes, and I'll even show you the way if you wish. However, in return, I ask for your cooperation. You never told us who you were. Huh? I am the great warrior Wild! I have been wandering here in search of my younger brother, separated at birth. Master! Hmm? No, it's wild. When you mentioned your little brother separated at birth, you were talking about Hawk, right? Who's Hawk? Ah, uh, either way, my little brother's name was Mild. But it is also true that we were separated as soon as he was born. So I wouldn't be too surprised if he didn't remember his name. <laughs> Hold on a second! Are you telling me that you know someone who looks like my handsome self? No, oh, he way more than just looks like you. Anyone with eyes could see it. Seriously, you guys are practically clones. <laughs> 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 
His wailing sounds exactly the same as Hawk's when he's got diarrhea. Huh? <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, my, my stomach hurts from laughing so much. <laughs> It's about time for a scorching sandstorm. My guests from the other world, I invite you to visit my home. So please, come with me! Impressive. You carved out all this by yourself? I did, and you all are my very first guests. It's my personal masterpiece. Huh, this place really is amazing. Yeah, well, I get bored. <laughs> this thing's super uncomfortable. I don't think that's made for sitting, Vaughn. You made this out of boredom? Yeah, well, I get bored. Drink up! It's wart tea made from the warts on Big Breast's butt. From Big Breast's. So this is butt wart tea, huh? Hmm. It tastes just like purgatory. Yeah, I can't think of any other way to describe this. I can't believe that it's been over eight million years already since my dear brother Mild was taken. As soon as he was born, he was kidnapped by the Demon King. I couldn't stop it. He was sent to a completely different world. Mild, no! So let's see. Hawk woke up in Britannia 16 years ago. If a minute there equates to a year in Purgatory, then the timeline does make sense. There's something else, though. I still have no idea why he was sent there in the first place. Oh, he was sent to spy on me, since I'm the son of the Demon King. You're what? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. That's why Hawk was chosen. So, you're really the Demon King's son? That's a lot to process. Wait, now that I think about it, I never did get your names. I'm Meliodas, and he's Bond. I understand that he needed a spy, but why was my baby brother chosen? In the beginning, Father just used regular animals to spy on me. He figured that I wouldn't be too wary of them. But they all ended up dying from small accidents or just brief lifespans. That's when he thought to use a creature from Purgatory. And sure enough, Hawk is indeed abnormally strong. Now it all makes sense. It's no wonder he can withstand attacks from someone as strong as Hendrickson. Not to mention with his good nature, nobody suspected him of anything either. Please, Mr. Meliodas, Mr. Bond, tell me more about Mild! No, I mean Hawk! Please tell me more about Hawk! I'm sure he must have grown to be so wonderful and strong. <laughs> oh no, what's wrong? This isn't good. Reality was too different from what he imagined. He's completely gone into shock. Hey, give me a bag! It'll help stop the hyperventilation! Where do I find one? Sorry about that. I started running my mouth and I should have pumped the brakes. I get it. It makes sense you'd be disappointed when your brother isn't how you'd imagined him. It was quite shocking to hear, but still. Even if he's not what I thought, even if the paths we've walked were completely different all this time, none of it changes the fact that he's my precious younger brother who I love. You're right about that. You should be grateful to burn and writhe by my grace. Oh? Well, that was only a demonstration. You withstood my technique with ease. Is this an example of that godlike power that's been given to you? Oh! That stance must be... With that out of the way, it's time I show you my true magical power! <laughs> you talk a big game. I pray that you're not just bluffing. I can't defend you from here on, so stand back. Right, I will. I thought we'd get to do more! Yeah, too bad there's no place for us here. Now then, savor this! My Dark Nebula! Get out of my way! 
to me. My, my body was pulled in. Uh. Hendrickson! It's okay. You can relax. They're both still alive. Miss Merlin! In any case, the situation is... <laughs> now that was a cunning act. He's maintaining a distance by using continuous teleportation. If you want to pull me in that badly, I don't mind coming to you willingly. However, you should know I've already seen through your swordsmanship. What's this? You choose now to try and get intimate? It clearly wasn't my choice to get slammed into your back. Now's not the time to be joking around. You giant fool! Oh, really? So you think I'm a fool? Seems you two are getting along better than ever. Merlin! What's the deal with his magical powers? At this point, there are three known traits of his Dark Nebula ability. First, a strong vacuum emerges around him, attracting only living beings. Second, our physical attacks are completely nullified, and he can then strike with an unknown attack. And what I just discovered... He was completely untouched by any of the attacks we executed before he activated the Dark Nebula. Making our magical attacks ineffective. Although that is most likely the power of his other ability, the one called God. <sighs> We're totally vulnerable to his attacks while ours are limited. This battle is going to be even more painstaking than we imagined. Hey, Escanor! I need you to lend me a hand! No, I refuse. Huh? What are you trying to pull here? What gives you the authority to bark orders at me? That is beyond impertinent. What? Did he just say? Who are you to utter such arrogance? Now you ask. I am Escanor, the Lion's Sin. Simply deplorable. Well, I am Ludociel, the leader of the four Archangels of the Goddess Clan. And I couldn't care less. Someone like you should take my words as God's words and cooperate without question. Regardless, that doesn't concern me. You can't be serious. <laughs> Come on, Eskinor, just cooperate with him for now. Uh. I'd be glad to. What? So you'll take orders from that woman, but not from me? Miss Merlin is just that extraordinary. Anyway, you'd better have a good strategy in mind already. If you don't, I'll beat you to a pulp. I need you to assure me that you'll obey my words. All right, it doesn't look so bad now. Since the hot sandstorms finally stopped, Shall we head off and resume our escape mission? Right, we're off to see the Demon King, and then I'll finally be reunited with my beloved Mild! Meliodas and Vaughn are planning to escape from Pain Counter Wild, Hawk's older brother. Hello there, I'm the great warrior Wild! He joins them in hopes of reuniting with Hawk, and together they head to the Demon King, who they believe to be guarding the exit to the present world. Meanwhile, the battle in Camelot continues to rage on. Zeldris activates his terrifying magical power, Dark Nebula, and faces the assault with intense resolve. But what is it that drives him? I never would have guessed that the door to the world my brother was sent off to was at the Demon King's feet this entire time. My, my. By the way, Wild, do you know how long the Demon King's been here? Not exactly, but he's been acting as he pleases since long before I was born. Well, he was sealed 3,000 years ago in the present world's time, so it was much longer here. When I was searching for my brother, I also challenged the Demon King countless times, but I was continuously defeated. The current standing is 120,118 to zero! Man, you're stubborn as hell. I, the Great Warrior Wild, will never give up! Now that there's hope I'll finally get to see my little brother again, all my efforts will prove to have been worth it! <laughs> I bet Master would fall to the ground from shock. Probably. <laughs> my, 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 no. It's time to sleep. 
know that I adore you, my little girl. What's the deal with that song? It's a special lullaby I used to sing to Mild all the time. You really are a great brother, Wild. How was it with you, Captain? Oh, you have a younger brother too, Mr. Meliodas? If I remember correctly, his name was Zeldris, right? Oh, yeah. I've never really talked to you about him before, have I? Hey, it's fine. It's a sensitive topic. You don't have to push yourself. It's not like that. It's just kind of a boring old story. I have two younger brothers, actually. Their names are Zeldris and Esterosa. Esterosa? Wait, you mean that bearded bastard who killed you? Yeah, he's the second born. <laughs> I'm shocked. You'd never expect him to be anyone's younger brother. I was once known as the next Dean King candidate, and I led the Ten Commandments. But I hated it. It was too much for me to handle. I personally thought the quarrel with the Goddess Clan was stupid, but I still spend all my time fighting them as the leader of the Dean Clan. Zeldris, who feared and idolized me at the same time. He's always been serious and straightforward, and he's continued to fight for the Demon Clan. Honestly, I couldn't understand why he was always working so desperately hard. And that was when I met Elizabeth. My world completely changed. The joy of your loved one's existence and the desire to protect them? I finally understood my brother. He already had something like this, precious and worth protecting.
I sentence Vampire King Yisra, along with his entire clan, to be sealed away from treason against the Demon King. But Zeltris, the Demon King's orders were for you to execute them all, weren't they? Killing them would be far too lenient. They must know the weight of their betrayal, and deserve to suffer with fear and regret for what they did. Good work transporting the criminals here. You can go now, Monspeed. vampires. Did they all end up dying? Well, of course they did. It was a real problem. All of Edinburgh was in quite the uproar because of them until the knights came. Let's see, what did they call themselves again? The Seven. which creates a powerful vacuum to draw us in. He then launches a mysterious invisible attack before ours are ever able to reach him. I don't have the slightest idea about the specifics of his attack, but from what I can see, it's not coming from his sword. Now that you understand, let's execute the plan! I will do what... Cruel son! 
No matter how complex the technique, there's always a weak point. He sees through our attacks and counterattacks, therefore it must follow the same principle as the full counter. If that's the case, then we just won't let him know when to counterattack. <laughs> 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 How did he see through us? It doesn't make sense. We obstructed his view and camouflaged our presence with the explosion from Escanor's magical power. No holding back. Time to end this. What did you say? You should know Gelda's a lie. When she woke up 12 years ago, she was prepared to take her own life. Because she believed her destiny with you was doomed. So I did what I thought best. I sealed Gelda. When the time comes... All of you, get the hell out of my way! The vacuum strength doubled? My teleport can't keep up anymore! I'll defeat you right here, and after that I'll be taking the commandment for myself! Eskinor. I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize. I only follow my heart. Merlin, no! Something this simple could also be so incredibly brutal. He doesn't rely on vision or hearing. Even presence doesn't matter to him. In his extreme state of concentration, he spins the darkness at top speed, creating a vortex that fiercely draws in every living thing around. Also, anything that interferes will trigger his spinal reflex and be shredded by his inescapable, ungodly, fast slash attack. I would call it... Full react. Ungodly speed? Is she insinuating? Ugh, it doesn't matter! Winning this holy war is my most important responsibility. As the leader of the four archangels, and also as the mentor of stigma. Margaret, wait! Because... Because I've sacrificed everything for this moment. Including any love or friendship! I don't expect the despicable demon clan to understand! Now you're the only ones who remain. Please bear with it for one minute. I will. I won't mess up like that again. Huh? How is he able to walk like that without being affected by the Dark Nebula? By sheer force of will? That man is a monster. Wait, this power! Could it be? Whether it be Meliodas or Estorosa, and now you as well, it would seem all you brothers just can't seem to get enough of me, eh? Now the time has finally come. And even if that were true, there's no chance that he could have been fighting using his foot. But if you think I'm anything like him, you're sorely mistaken. It doesn't matter if it's a lion or a mere insect, I'll bring it down at full strength! <laughs> Laughable! able to repel Escanor's attack even when he was in that state. Impossible! He doesn't even have a single scratch! <sighs> you dropped your weapon and are begging for your life. Then you've given up, haven't you? Divine Sword Escanor! <sighs> a 
Shining sword? How could a human possess such power? It doesn't make sense. No doubt about it. That's the grace of Maella, the four Archangels us after an eternity dwells within the body of Escanor. It's the only explanation. Which can only mean one thing. Hmm. I don't understand you. This is a faded war between the demon and goddess clans that's been going on for an eternity. What reason would a mere human like you possibly have to risk their life to fight in this war? Everything I'm doing is for the sake of a friend. Oh, that's good on you. You call the cruel and cold-blooded Meliodas a friend? Ridiculous! There's no way he thinks the same of you! He's not capable of real friendship! He's closing in on you, young Master Sildris. What's this? It looks like he's just succeeded in breaking through the Dark Nebula. You won't get away, Divine Spear, Eskinor! <laughs> young Master Sildris! Pierce through. Our heroes aim to escape purgatory. Meliodas reveals his past regarding his brother, Zeldris, and how Zeldris became a cold-hearted executioner for the sake of his vampire lover, Gelda. Wait for me, Gelda. Meanwhile, a fierce battle between Escanor and Zeldris unfolds at Camelot Castle, during which Escanor's finger pierces straight through Zeldris's body. What now? He really went and did it. Now, darkness! Time to finish you off. Please, young Master Zeldris, leave the rest of this battle in our hands. All right. You must prevent them from interfering with Meliodas. And don't hold back against them. Show them what you're made of. How you highest ranking demons possess power surpassing even mine. Certainly. However, please do not forget. I may be your mentor, but it won't be very long until you become an even greater being than me. What's that supposed to mean? Are we done with the final farewells yet? Insolent! No use. His wound is too deep. My powers aren't enough. I beg of you, Lord Ludosio! Please save Gil! I'm afraid I'm preoccupied. Huh. So I'm left dealing with this brat, and then taking out the remaining trash? As long as we can continue to suppress Zeldris, I have no reason to consider either of you an enemy. But if you really insist on it, then you can die before my grace. Flash! I am the one who taught young Master Zeldris the sword, after all. Even so, don't get carried away! Not even a scratch! What's the matter with you, Ludosier? Already reached your limit with that borrowed vessel? Shall we begin here as well, daughter of Belly Halloween? But this time, just try not to bore me so much! Now, exterminate Ray. I suppose I'll return the favor. 
the same magic as Miss Merlin, only it's multiplied! His attack power is exponentially higher than Miss Merlin's. I hope that she has a plan. Eskinor, watch for the right moment and run to the sacred treasure! Huh? What? I can't do it! No way! It's impossible! What's the matter? Too much to handle? Enchant infinity! That's a direct hit! Even the highest ranking of demons are rendered helpless when faced with Miss Merlin's Enchant Infinity! Alright, now's the time to get my Rita! Ah! Merlin, nothing seems to be working on them! Is this the power of their magic? It's not. For one reason or another, the magical powers they originally possessed seem to be sealed. Yet even without them, they are still praised as the strongest of the demons, second only to the Demon King. The reasons for that are quite simple. They're exceedingly strong, exceedingly fast, and exceedingly tough. If it's not a magical power, doesn't that mean they don't have any weaknesses? In plain terms, yes. However, if they don't have a weakness... We'll have to create one ourselves. That's pointless. Bluffing isn't going to work against those two. What was that? But she didn't show any sign of movement at all. Impossible. It was such a boring attack, too. That's my double impact. You remember it when I cast it, don't you? It was the magic that disappointed you right at the beginning of this fight. <clears throat> You're saying that wasn't meant to be offensive magic at all? In the first wave of my attacks, I used each of the four elements, integrating them into multiple different magical attacks. My primary objective was to deduce which element is most effective against each of you. For Chandler, it's the lightning, and Cusack, the wind. Now, the purpose of the second wave of my magic was to considerably decrease your resistance to those elements. And furthermore, it comes with yet another added bonus. With each strike of my infinity, your resistance continues to decrease, bit by bit. Impressive. I'll have to be careful not to make an enemy of her. As long as we know the trick, us fire fiends, don't get that out of the way, absolute can- <laughs> It's happened again. Where the hell is she casting that magic from? <laughs> Right now, this entire space is filled to the brim with both lightning and wind magic that gets automatically triggered by you every time that you attempt to cast a spell or make any sort of move to attack. This magical power can continuously activate, thus the name Infinity. I've never seen such bizarre magic! I'm not quite sure myself. To each type of magical attack, I added in components of invisibility, imperceptibility, and automatic tracking, then combined them with my infinity. Now that's foul play. Okay, but I'm still confused. When did you actually cast it? When we were fighting Zeldris, while teleporting us all away from the Dark Nebula. <laughs> <coughs> Lord Ludosiel, please perform a healing miracle for him. Kill Thunder made himself a human shield in order to protect you. We both know that it wasn't me he was protecting. In any case, it's important I preserve what magical power I have left. We are highest ranking demons. How can we suffer such humiliation? This can't be happening. Such a thing shouldn't be possible. <laughs> What's so funny? Resonant! <laughs> Something wrong? Oh, I see. So this is your true appearance then. <laughs> it's surprisingly sweet.
Now that I've got you trapped here, I'll make you suffer the same fate as that brat who went by the name of Arthur. Regret that you ever defied a high-ranking demon. You'll have an eternity in hell to do so. From this moment on, your consciousness will be my captive. Yeah. Those are my words to you, exactly. Huh? Ah! Uh, but... but how? Uh. It's because you're predictable. I expected you to possess me. I was blessed by the Supreme Deity and underwent the strengthening of my soul and spirit. Did you really think it'd be that easy? <laughs> it seems like you still haven't grasped the situation. You really are a fool. Now, you're going to allow me to avenge Arthur to my heart's content. What's wrong? Hurry up and break that brat's magic already! This is bad. At this rate, we'll... Don't push your luck. I possess the power of the Demon King. Your magical powers aren't even worth fearing. <laughs> Watching me, Mael? Look at what your brother accomplished and be proud! <gasps> but, but why? Why can I only recall the face of Mael's killer? Why, Esterosa? Captain, what is it? Something isn't right. My memories with Esterosa. Why? Can't I recall them? So you finally noticed too. <gasps> you as well. You also cannot recall those memories of your brother. <laughs> that voice is... Yes, without a doubt. It's him! In any case, your constant displays of cowardice have disappointed me. As I've always expected, emotions are a useless waste of space for my son. This is the notorious Demon King? He's freaking gigantic! And he'll only grow. The reason he's able to gain greater and greater power is that he gets his fill from the creatures of Purgatory! My father! What you mentioned earlier, about not being able to recall many of your memories with Esterosa. The same holds true for me, as if they'd been sealed somehow. I can still vividly recall all of my days in Hell. And yet, anything pertaining to him in the slightest comes up completely blank, blocked from my view. I need you to do something for me. Tell me anything at all that you can remember about him. That even though he's the son of the Demon King, he doesn't possess the power of darkness. He was such a soft-hearted coward that he'd even hesitate to kill a bug. So I took pity on the poor soul, and I bestowed upon him one of the Ten Commandments. Uh. As suspected... What's going on? Everyone who has knowledge of Esterosa's existence, including myself, is currently being deeply deceived. That bastard. He's going to face the full force of my wrath. Bastard. Could it be? Rosa. That's wrong. 
That person is... Listen carefully, Gother. Regarding the Holy War, I'm about to activate a forbidden spell in exchange for my life and magical power. You need to be prepared for this. Forbidden? The spell alters the memories of one particular man, along with the memories of anyone who knows him. It is powerful, and affects even the gods. And casting that will really end the Holy War? It will. That's how truly substantial this man's influence is. If this forbidden spell is properly executed, then it will pressure the Goddess Clan into using the Coffin of Eternal Darkness. But I'm a bit short on the magical power needed in order to execute it. I'm asking you to assist me by lending me your power, Gother. Please help me. Of course. I hope you'll forgive me for failing as a father. I should be protecting you, but I'm burdening you with such a heavy sin. Oh, why, Esteros? I don't understand! If you're wondering if the altered memories will ever revert back to normal in the future... Are you all right? There is a slight possibility, yes. Those affected by the forbidden spell will share the same rewritten memories. I'll take you down with my own hands! Esther Rosa? What's happening? Something's wrong. I can't remember Lyle's face now. Everyone's acting so strange. If something happens to one of them, some sort of accident or trigger, and it ends up creating a crack in those memories. Captain? What's wrong? You look like you're in a lot of pain. Eskinor, get the sacred treasure now. Oh, of course. It will be gradual at first, but eventually everyone's memories will collapse all at once. Esterosa! Just who the hell are you, huh? They're not a part of the Ten Commandments at all! Give Elizabeth back now! Realization turns into doubt. No, Elizabeth belongs to me! Blame my brother! All of this is Meliodas' fault! And doubt turns into belief. <laughs> brother, but how did I... Esterosa, all of this is a misunderstanding. Meliodas would never tell a lie if it meant he would be hurting his brother. He talked about it all the time. He was always concerned. About his brother, Seltris. Huh? No matter how much it takes, I want to save both Seldris and Gelda. Of course. But wow, you really are a devoted big brother, aren't you? Well, after all, Seldris is my one and only brother. What does this mean? Then, what about Esterosa? Did you have a fight with your brother again? That's not it. Everyone keeps calling me a coward. They say I couldn't even kill a bug. And you're worried about what they think? Not exactly, but it's true that being seen that way brings disgrace to my brother. You know that dog? Stop it, that tickles! When I met him, he was injured and couldn't move at all. I see. Does he have a name? Yeah, it's Esterosa. Meliodas named him. Isn't it a great name? That can't be. Esterosa was the name of that puppy? You made a weird face when I said that. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Then... Who are you? No way! That person looks just like... I think it's a wonderful name, really. Could you actually be... At last... The memories of everyone who knew him return to their original form. 
Memories being in the Demon Clan become memories as the Goddess Clan. Memories with Meliodas as an older brother become memories with Ludosiel instead. Worrisome happens. I'll stop it. The gopher? Even if I lose my life for this, it is both my other sin and responsibility. A burden that I share with Gother. I will see it through. Rosa of the Ten Commandments never existed from the start. Although that's what everyone had come to believe, his real identity was always... How could that... No, I can't believe it! One of the four Archangels, Mael. Three thousand years ago, in order to end the Holy War, the mage Gother cast a forbidden spell. It altered the memories of one particular man, along with the related memories of anyone who knew him or of him. Now, three thousand years later, the spell has finally been broken, and all of those fabricated memories have begun to collapse. And that man, whom the mage Gother cast the spell on, was none other than... What is this? Why does Esterosa of the Demon Clan have wings? Esterosa of the Demon Clan never existed to begin with. <laughs> Gother? What you're seeing is his true appearance. <laughs> What is this? Who am I? Why can't I? One of the four Archangels, Mael. No way! You're really Mael? <sighs> was... Was I having some kind of nightmare? <sighs> Oh my, you look just like Ludociel now. Hmm? Simply copying his hairstyle isn't going to make you any braver. Besides, yours is curly. Come on, don't pick on him. I was just saying. I think it suits him quite well, actually. <laughs> just what I would expect of my younger brother. One day, if I keep working hard, will I be as strong as you? I can guarantee it. I've no doubt you'll become a man who even surpasses me. <gasps> it was brother who taught me. Killing those of the Demon Clan is not a sin. That I was simply carrying out justice, saving a soul trapped in an impure cage. That virtue passed down to me is why I killed countless demons. And before I knew it, I grew to be feared by the Demon Clan and known as the Angel of Death, the strongest of the four Archangels. I could tell how incredibly proud Brother was of me, and that brought me such joy. And yet you, Elizabeth, you took no notice of me, and instead chose Meliodas of the impure Demon Clan. I cannot express to you how excruciating it was for me. <laughs> What is this? My name is... Esther... Rosa? <clears throat> what am I saying? Yes, I am. <laughs> what a hideous sight this is! At least I've defeated you for good, Angel of Death, Mael! Thank you, Father. This is because of your guidance. I dedicate this victory to you! with this awful hair. It's irritating. 
That's much better. Now it matches Meliodas. You've done well for yourself, Esterosa. I've always thought of you as my idiot son, but I will grant you this as a reward. Father, could that be? The commandment of love? The one brother left behind? <laughs> this is the greatest! I feel awesome! So this is my new power! This is the best! This is just a nightmare. It couldn't be real. <laughs> but it is. This is real. It's not just a bad dream. I can still feel it in my hands. <laughs> The sensation of slaughtering thousands of my brethren. <laughs> How it felt to burn each and every one of those innocent people. Who did this? Who would do such an awful thing? It was me. I'm the one responsible for all of it. Go ahead. You can break me. You're Gother. Part of the Ten Commandments. This is your doing. Gother! Do you realize what you're saying? Don't be ridiculous! This is what I want. <laughs> you made me despise the brother I deeply respected. And then cherish an impure demon! Demon clan, and siding with the Goddess clan. So, in order to correct this imbalance, a warrior with power equal to Meliodas's had to be forcefully pulled over to the demon clan side. It had to be you, Mael. The Goddess clan lost Mael, and the demon clan gained Estarosa. That's how the balance was maintained. But once the Holy War began, it did not stop. As a result, the Goddess Clan was left with no choice but to activate the Coffin of Eternal Darkness. And with that, the Holy War ended. So I was a puzzle piece. That's how you're justifying what you did. Putting me through an unfathomable amount of suffering and humiliation. Then I'll make you suffer. You deserve to feel at least the same pain and helplessness as... <laughs> Your body is... I know. I am a doll made by the mage, Gother. You're kidding. How can I exact revenge on a lifeless doll that can't even feel pain? After all you've done, how much more do you intend on insulting me? Please, King. Stop it. I don't want to involve you in this. The Seven Laws of the Seven Deadly Sins, Law Number Four. If a member's in crisis, we do everything in our power to save them. Remember? A friend of Gother's. Perfect timing. If he can't feel any physical pain, then I'll have to inflict emotional pain. And even if it isn't real, I strongly hope that you possess a heart. <sighs> Stop! Increase now! Arrow of Salvation. King! The Arrow of Salvation. It's meant to be a merciful power that gently guides demons to their death without them ever feeling a thing. However, if it hits someone who isn't a demon, they'll suffer unbearable pain instead. Poor thing. Just break me instead! King's done nothing wrong, so why? Yes, that's the reaction I want. Destroying a doll wouldn't come close to real revenge, but this... True. Spirit, spirit, chastiful. Form number one. Chastiful! Spear of judgment! 
The more you resist your imminent death, the longer I'll get to keep tormenting Gother. So keep it up, fairy. Don't you dare underestimate the fairy king! That boy! How can you do that to my L? Tarmiel, we should go. Of course, we've got to give my L some backup. No, we don't. We must save the seven deadly sins. S seriously But the person responsible for turning Mael into Esterosa is Gother, right? But he's one of us, and probably our most valuable ally. That is correct. It's also true that he's lost his grace, Sunshine. But now that he's become aware he's one of the four Archangels, he has full control and a solid grasp of the Commandment's power. Such a feat is only possible for the strongest of us. However, in the end, it's a dark power that conflicts with the Goddess Clan. Every time he uses that power, darkness devours his heart. Then what are we going to do? I can't... I can't fight him. I still see him as one of us. Because of that, we'll save him. <laughs> Elizabeth! Elizabeth, wake up. What should we do now? He... Esterosa was my ill all this time. How can we save him? Is it still possible for his heart to be salvaged? <laughs> I'm sorry, Dariari. It was my ill who took someone important away from you, and I said I wanted to save him. No, let's do it. Let's save him. After all, you did the same for us in the past. Stop this! That's enough! Just let me die here and it should be settled! I'm begging, please, I don't want to lose anything precious to me ever again! Good grief! What? <laughs> if you really knew the grief of losing someone precious to you, then you wouldn't be so willing to die. Get it now, Gother? I'm sorry. This is starting to get fun. Why don't you come at me together next? How about the four of us? <laughs> Sariel, Tarmiel, hello. M Mael, I'm so glad that I get the chance to see you again. I wish I could be happier, but it saddens me that you're in such a state. Why do you harbor such hostility towards me? Tell me, why would you defend the sinner who took everything away from me? Is it not our sworn duty to eradicate the demon clan? We are the four Archangels. I... I understand where you are coming from and how you feel, but you must be level-headed. Please be patient. I'm sure you can find a way to regain the time you lost. You understand how I feel, do you? That all I lost was some time? There's no way you'd understand! Not in a million years! Stop, Mael! You aren't thinking straight! You need to release the commandment that you absorb! As long as it still dwells within you, your grace of sunshine won't be able to return! This is most unfortunate. After losing my grace, the commandment I held became the only source of hope for me. If you intend to take away that hope, in exchange I will grant you this. Despair. You want to save Mael? While it is true that he killed Monspeed, he didn't have a choice. Fate had already planned for them to fight each other. The truth of the matter is that Monspeed and I should have died 3,000 years ago. But instead, you and Meliodas came and saved us. We never once questioned why we did what we did. It was our job to fight and kill the Goddess Clan and any others. We always believed it was just the way it had to be. Even after you'd saved us, we didn't even think about trying to stop fighting. I mocked Meliodas, saying he was stupid for running to you. But I was the stupid one. And I only wish I could have realized that sooner. I'm never going to know how Monspeet felt about me. But what's important now is how I feel about him. What you said made me think about it. How he was... my precious partner and we complimented each other so well. All I wanted was for him to be able to keep living. This meaningless fight needs to be ended once and for all. 
The first step of which is to stop Mael, right? Derriere. It is, but the problem is that I'm unable to take the commandment from him with my powers. I have an idea. You just rest here for now. What should I do? I can't handle watching my friend get hurt anymore. But I'm not able to hurt Mael either. I feel so helpless. Gother! Uh, Derriere? Read my thoughts right now and transmit them. Send them to everyone but Mael. Uh, Just do it! <laughs> Think fast! As if I'd let you! You're such an irritating fly. First. The Fairy King will provoke Mael. Once he's distracted, Sariel and Tarmiel pin him from both sides. It's irritating being ordered around by part of the Ten Commandments, but... If it's to save Mael, then I'll do whatever is asked of me! Then I'll come and hammer him with attacks until he's right on the verge of death. Combo Star! Gother, you're going to find out how to retrieve the commandment. Ugh. You need to endure it just for a little bit longer, Mael. This is all to save you, you'll see. Where? Where is it? Tommy! Help! How could you? Where is it? I'm always the one who gets treated like trash. How much longer? Please, help me. Wozum, Mehen, Ka, Ishima. No, Jimeo. Yes, found it! <sighs> Thank you, my brethren. <laughs> you should be grateful. The Angel of Death shows you mercy. Wozun, Mehen, Ka, Ishima, no, Jimeo. Ishimeyoma, Shigai, Eniwa, Kota. Is he trying to take in the Fourth Commandment? Mael! If you take in any more commandments, there's no going back! You'll lose yourself forever! I'm begging you, stop this! Garakachi, Wa, Natare! If I remember correctly, I failed to stop Mael. I see. So I ended up dying for it. But still, this sure is a familiar sight. It looks almost exactly like hell. It would appear that the rumor about Meliodas escaping hell with the captives from the Goddess Clan was true after all. Impossible. But how? Oh well. He's the leader of the Ten Commandments. He'll do as he pleases. Nothing we can do now. Wait a minute! But Meliodas hasn't been the leader of the Ten Commandments in a long time! This is bullshit! Whether he's the leader or not, a betrayal is still a betrayal! I'll never forgive him! We're gonna capture him! It's me. Then this must be hell from 3,000 years ago. You know, Derriere, the two of us could always try following his example instead. What?! This isn't the time to be spewing nonsense! <clears throat> Please. I was just joking around. Unless I meant it. You coming, or are you just gonna rot here, huh? I'm going by myself! Hmm. Don't get so mad. Of course I'm coming. You should know by now I'd never leave you alone. <sighs> you actually did tell me how you felt, didn't you? This whole time... I just didn't allow myself to realize it. Thank you, Monspeed. Thank you, 
Elizabeth. Dorokimoto. Nikato Kobe. Omonori. Kieto. Derriere. Sleep peacefully and leave everything else to me. I promise that your feelings won't go to waste. The Holy War and Mael. I'll find a way to stop them. And Meliodas, no matter what, I will save you. Mael regains his memories as one of the four Archangels. He finds himself tortured by his past as Esterosa, who took countless lives. Having succumbed to his desire for revenge, Mael faces King and the others who tried to stop him. But... In the final moments of the confrontation, Mael's strike pierces through Derriere, and he claims the fourth commandment for himself. Soriel! Come on, stay with me! Uh, it looks like the mission failed. Just take it easy. I used up all my power to try to suppress him. What a terrible blunder. Right, Tonio? I'm so sorry. I tried. But I just... I just wasn't able to do it. <laughs> that was it. Our only chance to stop my own. Darkness or light, nothing applies to him anymore. Hold it together, King! The Fairy King is in a sorry state, but even if he managed to recover... I doubt he has the strength to defeat my own. It's okay. There may still be a chance if Gother, the one responsible for changing my own, can implement a mind attack. But we can't count on him. He seems to be a different man from the cold-hearted member of the Ten Commandments we knew before. My fault. I don't understand, but heck, don't worry about it, okay? This is just the norm for us, nothing we can't handle.
resolve as long as I sacrificed myself. I assumed that would be good enough. Not only did his anger fail to subside, but at this rate, now things will become even worse. I'm sorry, Maya. Forgive me. I've raised my hand against you to protect my dear friends. as if they're falling asleep. A terrifying technique, but it doesn't work on me. If Guthrie had woken us up, that would have been it for us. Yeah, you're right. But thanks to him, my body's screaming in pain. Listen up, both of you. Let's end this with that technique. You got it. Right. True spirit, spear chastity ball, 746. Dramatically, from what I can tell, it's growing in tandem with the end dancing. Hit. Hit. 
against that. This attack uses power extracted from Escanor's sunshine, along with destroy four elements, and enhances the explosion function with Merlin's infinity. The result being, all matter within a ten-mile radius of me will vanish when used. Oslo, listen! Please use your power to evacuate everyone! <sighs> this incense smoke... Burden on my body increased at once. This is the load you must take responsibility for. What? No, this can't be. It must be an illusion created by the commandment, or maybe it's the dream my heart desires. Or is it? Into the earth. 
to Deanne, that you protect her this time. Be strong, Harlequin. Now is the time to show your dignity and presence as the king! Nothing to worry about now. I'll take care of the rest. King? Is that you? That form? Fairy King Harlequin. And once those wings are fully evolved, I'm sure that one day you'll become the most powerful fairy king ever. After fusing with the Four Commandments, Mael transforms into a darkly... Faced against his mighty power, the others fall one after another. Oslo! As King's thoughts reflect upon his own powerlessness, his promise with Diane resurfaces. His desire to protect the ones precious to him until the end triggers the awakening of Fairy King Harlequin's true power. Enough, Mael. It's time to bring this battle to an end. This is a tale of. Get out of my way! Jesus, you to be not What did I do? I did I do?
Elizabeth will die. When that happens, her corpse and soul will become mine. I won't let you do that. What? What is this? What happened to us? True spirits fear chastity for form eight. Pollen Garden. Chastical form two. Guardian. Multiple spirit spheres at once? True spirit sphere chastical form five. Increase. Mael, you and I aren't well acquainted. However, we do seem to have things in common. We've both lost precious time. As well as those important to us. That which is lost will never be the same. Even so, we are able to go on living for those important to us in the present. There must be someone, someone around now who holds you in their heart. No, get out of my way! True spirit spear chastical form one. Chastical. That's why I'm not going to kill you. And if you're still not satisfied, I'll face you again and again. I am the Fairy King Harlequin. <laughs> are in a pinch. It's all because I hurt my yell so deeply. Sorry, I won't let you go. What? Go there, you were the one. You stole my purity and my heart. That's become a heavy burden to carry. It continues to bind you forever. Forever? It's too late to feel regret. I'm happy. Huh? I don't regret it at all. Not one bit. Even if the time turns back, however many times we meet each other, I take the same path. I want to keep living, bearing all of my feelings for you. Share it with you, Captain Leftovers. Ah! So what now, King? What's going to happen to my own? He's at his limit. <laughs> he most likely can't be saved. He may be one of the four archangels. He took in four of the conflicting powers of the commandments. His strength and magic drained. He'll be devoured by those commandments.
hill I would go to when I was troubled, when I needed silence and solitude. Elizabeth would find me here and do her best to gently comfort me. I know the end is near, but this view is the last thing I want to see. I assure you, Elizabeth won't want such a thing. I don't have the right to live. These hands are responsible for ending so many lives. I've even attempted to kill the woman I love. Now I suggest you return. This world will be vanishing shortly. I feel you should be saved. I believe you're alone in that field. There's not a single soul who's waiting for my return. Not anyone, not anywhere. I'm the one who held the impure power of darkness within myself and showed contempt and abandoned my faith and even my brethren. Maya's exactly right about that. Be gone, wretched dog. Foreign substances can leave. The Four Commandments. If you don't leave, we'll devour you. Devour you. No, you won't. You're not able to exercise your powers without a vessel. There's no way you can stop me. Mael, there's one thing that can drive the commandments out, and that's your own will. You can still make it. Concentrate on your desire to live. So now, after you've given me this cruel fate, you want me to live on in shame? I just want you to keep on living. And I want to apologize properly. Then please tell me why. For what reason was I chosen? This is what you said. You'd selected me as your warrior. One with equal power to Meliodas, and I was to join the demon clan. However, there were other warriors with equal power for him to choose from. Elizabeth, as well as my own brother, Ludosia. But despite that, you still chose me. Tell me why. Why? The one who chose you was the gopher who made me. If this place is your memory, you should be able to recognize my face. Merciful one who releases you from your impure cages. I will pray for you. Pray that you'll have the good fortune to be reborn as virtuous souls. Do you have any last words? Someone with your face! Yes, but it wasn't me. The name of the woman you killed was Glariza. She's the demon I was modeled after. And Gother's lover. Why do I always give the poor treatment? A truly unforgivable sin. Why me? There's no way you understand! Not in a million years! <laughs> the limit's getting near! Quickly, Mayel! You need to drive out the commandments! If you don't, you're going to! Don't just... He's finally gone! Serves him right! The pest disappeared! You'll all remain together until Mayel dies! Give me your body when you die, okay? There are limitations to being foolish. It was me all along. If you give me your body, I'll give you more power. Let me use it as I want. The unforgivable one was... I am... Out! Get out of me! What in the world is Gother doing? He wants to save my elf. He can't be serious! Sir Gother, I beg you. We can't just grab them. We might wind up breaking the magic. Beyond that, Mael's body is on the verge of collapsing. Let's leave this to Gother. What's happening to his body? Holy crap, I can't see! Dimmed! 
didn't fail. Arthur! <laughs> Thank goodness. Thanks for that. Dorimashita, Inimashita, Ragiwosa, Hitochimaino, Riyon, Mayunakwe, Nazarewa. What's this spell? Invitation to Reincarnation. A technique that can be used just once upon a soul to reincarnate them while preserving the memories of their past life. It's possible they'll wish to punish me after they reincarnate. If that comes to pass, I will accept it. Maya, come with us. Join our efforts at Camelot. You want me to defeat the Demon Clan as part of the Goddess Clan next? Who would wish for such a thing? My brother? Elizabeth? Sariel and Tarmiel, whom I killed with my own hands, along with many of my brethren. Not one of them would wish for that. I wish for it. So please, help us. Lend me your power. Elizabeth. The goddess and demon clans. This wouldn't be for anyone's victory. Just to end the holy war once and for all. as you are. So let's hurry. Thank you, Hendrickson. Wait, why would you treat me first? Your injuries are... Uh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Stay with me, Merlin. Ah, uh, Seems like your body turned back. All thanks to the sunshine I charged in Rita. Never mind that. Well, would you look at this? It would appear that luck has fortunately sided with us. Already recovered, huh? It's not wise to belittle the recovery power of high-ranking demons. Mm. Chandra, please don't raise your voice. You rattle the inside of my head. <laughs> Look, there seems to be one severely wounded compared to us. No. No, this wasn't their doing. <sighs> the cause of this is most likely another. My mentor, Gother. The spell. A forbidden spell that alters one's memories. This would impact anyone who knew Mael, including the Demon King. Their memories? But for what purpose? Ah, incredible. That crafty Gother used a forbidden spell to turn Mael into Esterosa to force the Goddess Clan to activate the Coffin of Eternal Darkness. But for some reason, the alteration was broken, creating an aftershock which impacts those who are under the spell to their very souls. And from the looks of what's happening with Ludociel, it seems that shock is more apparent the deeper your connection with Mael is. Esther Rosa of the Ten Commandments. Was Mael of the Archangels? Seldris, if this is indeed what's causing the pain, then why aren't you? Why am I not deeply affected as you'd expect me to be? Well, that would be because unfortunately I've never once loved Esther Rosa as a brother. 
I'm actually feeling refreshed knowing that he wasn't my sibling by blood. Now, shall we begin round two? Hold on. Would you please leave this to us, young master? Right. Strategically speaking, I feel you should conserve your energy, as the remainder of the seven deadly sins will undoubtedly come to attack. I'm afraid this can't be helped. Doing so is our duty. Aji! Once to serve his retainer, the Demon King created a demon, one more powerful than any other. This infamous creation came to be known as the Original Demon. Of course, he was beaten at his own game and received punishment. He was divided both in body and soul into two and was given a serious duty. To raise the two princes as proper candidates, candidates to be the next Demon King, the two halves would also serve individually as each of the prince's mentors. What are you saying? No way. You mean those two halves are... Young Master Zelfres, it is my wish that you... Master Meliodas, please fulfill your destiny to become the Demon King! Ah, yes, I see. That strange animal is your guide. And the fact that you ventured to this place means you've come to realize the existence of the gate. Let's go, Mr. Bod. Mr. Meliodas. To get to my dear brother, we'll force our way through the Demon King! Huh? <laughs> Mael, who's no longer under the guise of its control and joined the Seven Deadly Sins to end the Holy War. Meanwhile, in Camelot, Chandler and Cusack returned to their combined form of the original demon, standing in the way of Merlin and the others. And in Purgatory, Meliodas and the others planning to escape to the present world are about to begin their battle with the Demon King. magical power. None of our attacks are doing a damn thing against him. It's the same as his title, but it has another name. It's called Demon King. Or the Ruler. Zigzag Wild! Spinning Wild! Oh, Wild! Ah! 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 Demon King. Nowhere near us, that's for sure. Well, that's true. Technically, the only reason he's nowhere near us is because he moves away. You know what? Maybe going back to the other world isn't something I'm supposed to do. Why would you say something like that? You don't strike me as someone who would just give up. I won't ever stop trying until the day I see my brother, Mr. Meliodas. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely want you two to make it back. 
different story for me. It's Elizabeth. Because she's under a curse, she always has to die right in front of me. That's why she'd be better off if I didn't. Shut up. The curse has already been triggered, dumbass. Do you actually think that princess of yours would agree to something as tragic as that? Become mopey and faint-hearted and it's all over. Save our lovers no matter what. No matter what. You're gonna break the princess's curse. As for me, I'm gonna bring Elaine back to life. Let's keep things simple, okay? I only said it because it's not that simple. Above all, every one of the seven deadly sins and Hawk are fighting. Risking their lives for Elizabeth and me. All three of you utterly disgust me. How can you still not understand? No matter how many times you attempt to take my powers, you'll only end up feeding me more power. No matter how many times you attempt to pierce through me, you won't be able to hurt me in the slightest. All that you do is futile. <laughs> Your techniques are merely imitations of Chandler's attacks. If you hope to stand a chance against me, you'll need to release your intrinsic powers. But that chance appears to be an impossibility. By my count, around 6,093 losses and no wins. You were really keeping track this whole time? It's been 60 years since we started challenging the Demon King. Say it. We're no closer to his level now than we were before. Sixty years here, maybe, but not in our realm. It's only been about an hour out there. Don't worry, we'll just keep trying. Wild, it looks like you're wounded. Ah, uh, it's nothing. Hardly even counts as a scratch. You got it defending the captain, right? Yeah, it doesn't look too bad to me. <laughs> hey, wait a second. Maybe I should try it out. My wound healed! <laughs> Seriously? That healing thing was pretty neat, Vaughn. How long have you been able to do it? Over the past 60 years, we've tried to take away the Demon King's power and strength again and again, but he's absorbed ours instead, right? Thanks to that, I got accustomed to the feeling of being robbed. Now that's not the right word. More like giving. So, I just thought I'd give it a try. Mr. Bond, is your body okay giving away your power? Of course it is. After all, I'm immortal. With this power, a lame can be. Either way, our worst terror continues to be the ruler. How in the world are we ever supposed to get the better of him? <laughs> Anybody have any good ideas? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, that snatch power of his doesn't weaken him, it just makes him stronger. On top of that, he can absorb your full counter. That thing is supposed to repel any attack magic. Yeah, all the usual attacks don't hurt him in the slightest. He really is ruling the natural way of things. Could it be? I'm so disgusted I can't even sigh. Is this really your plan? Coming here simply to get your powers taken? <laughs> if you're gonna take them from us, I'll just give it to you right from the start! I knew it. Oh, Demon King. The true nature of this irrational magic of yours, the ruler is... Reversing! Any attacks or attempts to weaken you get converted into healing and protection! Bravo, bravo. But Meliodas, no. My son, it matters not. Whatever your emotions, I will never allow you to return to the present world. We'll see about that! Give it up. Let us through already, will ya? Fine! Just hurry up and find the gate! I want you to partake of my limitless life. 
Sure enough, it's there, Mr. Meliodas! The gates of the present world! Oh, nothing special. I only cease the magical powers. You went out of your way to heal my damage. I wanted to show my gratitude. You bastard! Do not underestimate me! Captain, get going. I'll keep him at bay. No, you won't. There's no point in any of this if you don't come back with me. All three of us can't escape at once. He's way too thorough to allow it. Damn it, you better come back. Yeah. I'll never forgive you. You're nothing but a disappointment who disobeys and defies his father. Why call yourself that now? I've never recognized you as my father. What I don't get is why you keep clinging to this disappointment so much. Why? Because you are the Destroyer! You're the Destroyer! I'm not interested in being the Demon King! I just want to put an end to the useless conflict! Dangerous as expected! What are you doing, Mr. Bond? Let's hurry to the gate! I can't just run off and leave the captain here! You, Meliodas, are the most suitable successor to my throne. The only unnecessary thing are those emotions which plague you. Is he... Captain? It was well worth enduring everything for eight million years. What do you mean? To find out that Mild is alive, and to hear about what he grew into. It's all thanks to the two of you. through him, and I'll go to the cocoon I became after taking in the commandment. Hey, Vaughn, don't you think it would have been great if Wild and Hawk could have met? Yeah, I think I'll sing that song for Master when I get back home. Ma, 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 no, it's time to sing. I wonder if Hawk will remember it. I bet he'll be shocked at looking you all confused and slack-jawed. Maybe. Don't you think that would make Wild happy? No doubt. Uh, Captain! <laughs> I've got you now. I already told you. I won't let you return to the present world. Damn it! You bastard! Captain, I'll be right back to save you. Hold out till I do, no matter what! Don't worry about me! I'll come back on my own, no matter what! Just leave me here, and go back! You gotta save the others! Fine, damn it! Yeah, I believe you, partner. <laughs> what a pitiful show of courage. How do you plan on escaping from my hands? <gasps> what? You've harnessed the power to destroy my flesh. Meliodas, could it be that... It was you who said that I was in fear. You were exactly right. 
Now that I've awakened to this power, even if I did go back, I'd no longer be able to stay there. But I've decided. Stop! You can't. You can't go back. You'll ruin everything. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen your face look so flustered. Sense Merlin and Escanor's powers too. Let's hurry then. I presume that something terrible is happening over there. It might be best if we link up with Ma for now. Ah! Oh, what's wrong? What's not right? I have no idea! Ah! No way! Yeah, I can't! I can't believe you came back to us! My sister's eye for people really outdid itself with you, Ma. Captain is quickly. What about you? Well, there's something I need to take care of first. I'll meet up with you guys afterward. Okay with this? You're immortal now. The immortal. 
tell that you once possessed is gone. That doesn't matter to me. As long as I can fulfill the promise I made to you. To steal you away someday, no matter what. Yulay, now we're together for the rest of our lives. To free themselves from purgatory, Meliodas repeatedly for decades. Eventually, Bon uses a new ability. That, combined with Wild making the ultimate sacrifice, finally allows them to escape. Upon returning to the present world, Bon revives Elaine, who used all her strength in battle in exchange for his eternal life. Meanwhile, King and the others, including the newly recruited Mael, make their way to Camelot Castle. I'm afraid this can't be helped. Doing so is our duty. Aji! the peak of noon, this is all the power you can muster. I thought that a handicap was necessary. Cruel son! All we can do right now is hope King and the others join us here as soon as possible. We must hold out until then. You and I are more than enough to take down the likes of him. Oh, don't put on airs. The certainty of your deaths is already a settled matter. And none of your friends will make it in time. <laughs> fast from a distance. Is that King's chastity fall? If it is, then where is he? It's likely an attack that's controlled remotely. Did he awaken the true power of the Fairy King? It's the seven deadly sins. Their distances are clear, but multiple immense magical powers are heading in this direction from the north. I'm starting to get the hang of this. With remote controlling, I can only take one form at a time. Either way, this consumes too much magical power. We need to settle this quickly.
battle is intense. It's only a matter of time before the conflict reaches us. Gilthunder, I suggest you escape now. Huh? I... I object. I won't leave Walker behind. Especially in this condition. Maya was alive this whole time. I knew he... he wouldn't be killed off so easily. And certainly not by the impure demon clan. Oh, Margaret. Hendrickson, listen to me. I want you to take me to where my L is. Lord Gudosiel. Please, I... The shock from this realization is just too great. I'm unable to fly or walk. Pathetic, right? Go ahead, laugh at me, but please, I'm begging you! Poor soul. Hurt! any moment now that they're not the only ones who are heading to this location what hey elizabeth do you feel it too a presence that's advancing far ahead of us what could it be no way what is it Mael? zeldris must have anticipated all of this happening since the very beginning how in the abyss of madness i would no, Esterosa would collect it until his unavoidable self-destruction. You're saying the powerful presence headed this way is the four commandments that left my health? Commandments increase their power as they draw closer and gather in one place. They even have the capacity to form an ego. They are drawn to one another through a powerful level of attraction. 
Meliodas should be taking in five commandments in Camelot at this very moment. Based on these factors, I cannot think of another place the commandments could be headed. Oh, isn't that crazy bad? Yep, it's crazy bad. Can we stop it? There's no way. How could that be? If all the command gather... It's far too late now. Melasculus test tube is moving on its own? No, the commandment is resonating with something. They're finally here. It's almost time, Gilda. Bear witness to the birth of our new Demon King! We were too late. It's the worst case scenario, isn't it? I'm not ready to give up yet. Eramatoikot, Iniake Sonok, Onomuroskos, Onakijinetopos, Oemot. What spell is that? Odusaha! Can't be. No way. A forbidden spell, Chrono Coffin. Is she trying to suspend the cocoon in time? I won't let her! Everything is over. Not just yet. Miss Merlin will surely find a way to. Surprised that woman has the ability to stop time. It's clear that she'll be killed before she has time to complete the spell. Due to the lack of sunlight, Escanor no longer has the strength left to stop the original demon. Practitioner remotely controlling that spirit spear possesses great ability, no doubt. But stopping the attacks of those deed. And if Meliodas awakens as the Demon King, our defeat is simply a matter of procedure. Don't talk like that! How could you be so faint-hearted, Lord Ludosiel? I was taught the Goddess Clan encouraged and guided humans 3,000 years ago. That they showed great perseverance and were beacons of hope. Yes. We were admired by humans and received their faith, and I let that get to my head. I, Ludosiel, became too confident and arrogant, thinking of others as nothing but pawns. However, everything that we did was to win the Holy War. Nevertheless, there were those like you among the humans. Turncoats who would choose to flip sides and leave me behind. Nonetheless, 
that panicked state you were in after realizing your brother was alive? <laughs> I admit, I couldn't help but laugh. Bastard. Cease this. You're speaking too straightforwardly. Don't be angry. Such moments make me like you all the more. Finding out you're just like us. A divine yet humanly imperfect being. Sorry, but I'm not into that kind of thing. Oh, not to worry. I'm not either. In any case, I urge you to please hurry and use me as your vessel. Not simply as a druid who worships you, but as a dear friend. Please. Embrace yourself. It's over, Death Drive! Complete the spell quickly. I can't guarantee. However, I'm confident I can guarantee something as small as stalling him. Ludosia. I should have seen this coming. The arrogance of a man like myself, acting like I could protect anyone. I can't believe how impertinent I was. This life of mine, even if it means giving up this power, I don't care. Someone, anyone, please, the captain and Miss Merlin, please save them. Escanor, who would have thought that this would be the way we'd reunite? the guidance of the sunshine as well. The original demon appeared. Camelot becomes an even more severe battleground. In the midst of the ensuing fighting and chaos, Meliodas takes in all the commandments. To prevent the birth of the demon king, Merlin attempts to activate the forbidden spell. However, Escanor is removed from the battleground, and the situation turns desperate. Ultimately, the one who saves them is Ludosiel. Meliodas, I beg you, please don't wake up yet. The forbidden spell will be complete in ten minutes. I'll show you the power of the leader of the four archangels. He's wounded. 
Mr. Escobar wasn't even a match for this demon. Amazing! Hellblaze Omega! Ineffective. Reuniting like this with a former enemy, someone you faced on the battlefield, is a strange twist of fate, a miraculous one brought about by the Greeks. Esterosa? You're one of the Ten Commandments. No, wait, you're... you're Mael, right? Of the Archangels? Whoa, Escanor! You're a total wreck! Looks like they got you pretty bad, huh? Well, you're one to talk. Take a look in the mirror, dude. Oh, uh, hello there. <laughs> Being seen in this pitiful state is quite embarrassing. Be vigorous. Very much, Lady Elizabeth. I appreciate it. But at any rate, I'm surprised you found me after I was flown away like that. I had assistance. The Fairy King was watching everything. Hm. What the? Is that you, King? I'm glad to see you're still alive. But I have to say, Camelot is in a pretty dire situation. Oh. Ah, yes. Mr. Myel. I've heard a lot about you from your elder brother. If I recall, my magical power, Sunshine, was originally your grace, was it not? Mr. Mael, I ask that you lend me your power. And if you do so, in exchange, I'd be more than happy to return Sunshine to you. Eskinor's magical power is... what? Did he say he was my elf grace? I beg of you! I fully intend to help you all however I can, of course. However, I'm not able to accept the grace. But why not? You were its host. The grace disowned me long ago. I've been tainted with darkness. It chose you as its new home once I became unworthy. To this day, I remain unqualified. Please, Mr. Mael. We need your help. I don't have enough life force left to withstand sunshine anymore. Understand? If we don't have that power, we cannot defeat them. We are running out of time. We must hurry. Otherwise, the situation will become irreparable. I beg of you, we must do this. Please save those people. They're precious to me. Then the forbidden spell will be complete. Ome Tioi Naka. Hellblaze Omega! Laughable. Wipe that smirk off your face! by now. However, it seems like his output just continues to increase. How is that possible? Wait a minute. Look at that. It's not just his wounds. Is he destroying himself? Don't attack him any further. It's far too dangerous. As expected, you have good judgment. What perplexes you is this. The more I use up my life, the more my power increases. This is my true magical power. Crisis! Ah. For acting against my punishment, sentenced by the Demon King, 
and returning to my original form. My flesh will soon crumble. <laughs> so this is a test of endurance. Are you going to self-destruct first? Or will we be the first ones to perish? This isn't good. If he continues to power up at this pace, it will be impossible to hold out until he self-destructs. For the birth of the new demon king, there is nothing that I wouldn't do. I will offer my life to bring it to fruition! What? My technique, darkness, shouldn't allow this! What's going on? Sunlight of the dark of night? Oh, oh thick night loony below. You will hereby dissipate and vanish before my grace. Dark clouds! It's all vanishing! matches the captain's. Huh? He's 
concentrating the sun's power that's circulating in his body? We might not be able to last. Finding you so much. What impels you to the brink like this? Sure, it felt like forever. Hey! Hey! 
one would expect the forbidden spell took a toll on me. I think the captain had better treat me to many rounds of drinks later if he knows what's good for him. <laughs> Margaret and Gil. How do you know that? Sir King was watching with his chastity pole the whole time. The battle in Camelot intensified. Reinforcements finally put the original demon to rest. Zeldris eventually collapsed after his desperate attempts to resist. And Merlin's chrono coffin is finally completed. It seemed Meliodas' transformation into the Demon King had been prevented, and the Holy War would end. However... <laughs> that means it's your turn to fulfill our promise. Do it, Demon King! I put you through a lot of trouble, didn't I? You and the seven deadly sins. Meliodas, is... is that you? Rare animal too. Rare? Hm. You're not Meliodas. Tell me who you are. This is a tale of ancient time. Still bound to that lowly vampire maiden? Oh. I'm disappointed. You and your brother utterly disgust me to no end. His tone's completely off. I don't think this guy's the captain at all. There's no way. What stands before us is simply impossible. This can't be. Why are you in Meliodas' body? Father! does this mean? You told us what we needed to do to make Meliodas the new Demon King! We did everything you asked of us! Did you honestly believe 
that I would pass on the throne to this traitor? That was my true goal. A new physical form, young strong flesh to house me. The various commandments are fragments of my power, so for Meliodas to take them all in and become the Demon King meant nothing more than to prepare himself to become my new vessel. You've no right to do that! Leave his body at once! This is your own flesh and blood, so act like it! Do something fatherly for your son! For my son? Ah, oh, I see. You think fulfilling my son's earnest wish is my fatherly duty, right? Very well. I've thought of a good idea. Elizabeth, I've decided to undo your curse of infinite reincarnation. What? Well, what do you know? This guy's actually a pretty reasonable father after all. Accepting Elizabeth's curse and willingly at that? Way to go! And then I'll kill you. As cruelly as possible. <laughs> I wonder how he'll react when he sees your cold, lifeless body. Will his despair in knowing he'll never see you again be enough to make him lose all hope, craving death? Or will his relief that you've finally been released from the curse bring him peace and end his reason to live? Either way, the outcome is quite convenient for me. I believe. This unwelcome bastard out of your body, huh? You're back. Just in the nick of time, too. Vaughn, wait! Even if you're immortal, you can't handle him alone! Unfortunately, I'm no longer immortal. I revived Elaine. To do so, I kinda had to use up the fountain of you. You what? And that means you'll never. Alright, let's do this. It's eviction day for you, bud. Oh, you foolish human child. 
Behold the power of a god. energy storm that's brimming with malice. I'm afraid that no creature will be able to endure it. That can't be! I see. You're enduring it. Compared to the conditions of purgatory, this is a walk in the park. Why did the storm suddenly stop? was so foolish. Did you really think that you could handle me all by yourself? You're such an idiot. I'm not alone. Amazing! Mr. Bond's attacks are effective! Yeah, you're right about that, but that's not all. Energy must be, no doubt about it, stemming from inside the Demon King. It must be him. My son, I see that you've returned, but I won't let you have it your way. I am the Demon King. Delivering death is my duty. Administering fear is my mission. You know this. Yeah, I do, and that's your sin! Spirit world. His perseverance won't let him quit. Get in! Beat him and fence him up! Show that demon king who's born! This power, whatever it is, is far greater. Meliodas. Serban. How irksome. I knew I should have dealt with you two properly back in Purgatory. Is it the 
that you're able to deflect my strike. I suggest that you give up and get out of here. Your main body is feeling lonely in purgatory. <laughs> That you have awakened to the powers of the Demon King. Even if you drive me out, you won't be able to stay here in this world for long. Not even for a day. Now, let's get this over with. Something else. Maybe you were rejected by your son. There's a noticeable difference. I mean, the real him is way stronger than this. So you're not seeing the situation, and so after my curse was undone. Even if you somehow manage to return, you'll never get the chance to hold your loved one again. You're lying! Cut the crap! Can't accept reality, can you? I didn't make it in time. What's happening? My eyelids feel heavy. attempt. Meliodas won't hear your voices, no matter how loud you scream. This is awful. Listen. Huh? I may have an idea. To know despair here in the spirit world is the same thing as embracing death. <laughs> Sleep, my son. Rest your eyes. All of these other matters, just leave them to your father. You have no one else waiting for you now. There is only you and I. Just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. Drift on to sleep. back to King and the others, who are struggling against their enemy's overwhelming power. Bon fights the Demon King in the present world, while Meliodas fights him at the same time in the spirit world. Meliodas almost falls into despair after the Demon King tells him a despicable lie. But then... We're here, Meliodas. I can't tell if I'm 
dreaming or if you're here for real. This is no dream. We're right beside you. We're in spirit form, but we're here nonetheless. Gotcha, you're... You're your real self, right? It's really you! The evil kept as always! Vaughn's fighting. He's in the present world. of the four archangels defy the will of a god! more than five seconds. Then I'll stop you even faster! We'll see about that! You bastard! This is bad. Just taking everything I've got to fight this fiend. 
this rate, they're all going to... Wait, what was that? There's someone other than Mr. Bon who can withstand such immense power? Zeltris, why are you... Insolent child! What do you think you're doing? Answer me! Pressing business to discuss with Meliodas. It's personal, so I'd like for you to leave. But first, there's a related matter I need to ask you about. Tell me, concerning the execution of the Vampire Clan, did you order it knowing about my relationship with Gilda? You're just a fool who can't recognize a parent's compassion to save his son from illness. You are weak, and weakness is an illness. You really thought I might not know. The commandment that I bestowed to you informed me about everything. How you repeatedly met in secret. You and that vampire maiden who was poisoning your mind. And how you defied my orders and sealed the vampire clan away instead of executing them. What a fool. I heard you even had the ludicrous aspiration that someday you'd steal away the throne of the Demon King and create a hell where all could live peacefully. Ridiculous. I tolerated it since you at least had the merit of your submission. But that ends now. darkness of yours. It's baffling how such a thing could manage to pierce through my armor and flesh. But now, since the captain's magical power has increased, that attack must be even greater than before. It's a funny thing. Just knowing that you're all here with me, it brings me energy. to fight until the moment I take my last breath. Your 
My dear friend, you've saved me time and time again. I'm so grateful. Think that's gonna work? Because of you, I was finally able to get my heart back. But you didn't do it alone. All the sins made it happen. So, for finding the seven deadly sins, you have to come back. You brought us together. Damn right I did! Captain, please! We need to talk! I've gotta have a discussion with you face to face and apologize! Let me remind you! The seven deadly sins dragon sin is the strongest of all of us! For sure! When this is over, we're gonna drink all night! All of us together! Meliodas! We'll be waiting! <laughs> Meliodas, I still can't bring myself to forgive you for betraying the demon clan. So, I have to recognize you for one thing. Try as I might, I wasn't able to possess what you possess. The resolve to turn anyone into your enemy for the sake of those important to you! Ominous Nebula! I suppose it slipped your mind that power was lent to him by me. Meliodas, it's in your hands now. You could change everything. It's up to you. You bastard! You're gonna pay for what you've done! How could you do that to your son? Your own flesh and blood! Who the hell do you think you are? I'm the Demon King, human, and those who are weak aren't needed in my lineage! Whatever! Unforgivable! This is the end, Demon King! It's time for you to vanish out of me! Trillion Dark! Everything else, you're a sore loser! 
out here.